Welcome back to my channel where we're vlogging today. We're gonna make a fun day out of today. Yeah, buddy. I. Damn it. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what that was. But, anyways, today is gonna be a lovely day. Today, we are going to go to the bank. We're cashing a check. And then we're going to go to Best Buy to look for some equipment for the GoPro to see if I can get better stabilization for these vlogs. Uh, after that, I'm going to be coming back home, recording a couple videos. And I work tonight, and that's... Oh my gosh, this guy just pulled out in front of me. I almost crashed into him. And that's pretty much everything that we're doing today. But gaming topic of the day, guys. So Doom released a new multiplayer trailer for the game. I want to know what you guys think about this Doom game that's coming out because it's was a very old game. I mean, it's still a very old game. You can still get the original Doom copies and everything, but what do you guys think about them rebooting the series so many years after the last game? Personally, I think that it's going to catch on for a while. I think that Doom is going to be a small little hit because so many people have played it over the years and even these older people that might not even have these consoles, these new consoles. Oh crap, I'm not buckled up. Once again, sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, some of these older guys might be even picking up some of these consoles so that they can experience this because it might bring back some memories for them because I do know that they're trying to keep it pretty pretty similar to what the games were back in the day as much as they possibly can. I mean, it can't be perfect because the game was a pixel game back in the day, a 3D pixel game. But yeah, the multiplayer looks extremely fast-paced. It's nothing like uh, Battlefield or... Even Call of Duty looks a little bit slow compared to what you're seeing in this multiplayer trailer that they just released. Uh, the campaign is said to be very, very short, but the actual multiplayer looks like it's going to be a little bit of a hit for a while. I don't know if they're going to make another Doom later on down the road. It depends on how good this one does, but personally, I don't think that this one is going to uh, create another Doom game. I think that it's going to be a hit for a while and it's going to taper off a little bit. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, what you think about this Doom game. Are you going to be picking it up? I'm definitely picking it up, and uh, I'm really excited to see how the campaign story lays out, because uh, there's a lot of spectac spectacle accusation, skeptical, skeptical people out there. I got that out, yes. There are a lot of people out there that are trying to guess what the story is, and I just can't wait to see what it is. It's going to be something fun, I'm pretty sure. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog today. It's going to be as active as I can make it. I will see you guys in a quick snap of a finger. How was that transition? Did it work? Was it super 90s or super 2000s jump cut style? Let me know in the comments down below if you guys think that was awesome. Because I think it was. <laughs> but we are at Best Buy. So we are going to go into Best Buy now and do a little bit of shopping. Yeah, buddy. And we're back in the car after Best Buy. What I picked up here was a GoPro-ish off-brand, but more expensive actually, uh, mount for the, it's like a hand grip, so I don't shake you guys around as much when I'm actually walking around. It's uh, supposed to stabilize it quite a bit. And oh my gosh, I cannot believe they had this. A uh, 3.5 millimeter adapter. I'm not gonna just bore you guys with what this does, but you can see that I actually talk into my headphones for the audio. And I actually record the audio to my phone and sync it up to the GoPro later on. But uh, now I can just do it right to the GoPro. It's going to be a lot easier and a lot less work on my part. But did you guys see? I had that video of that. They have an uh, Elite Xbox One controller in there. That is the first one I've seen in stores since the release because they've been so in demand. And uh, I was this close to buying it. I'm actually still considering coming back later and buying it. But... Uh, I mean, it's $150 for a controller. I have a scuff right now, but it's starting to start to taper off. It's starting to get really, really bad just because I've been using it for so long. Actually, guys, I want to talk about something. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of research on these external microphones for GoPros because if you were to hear the audio that comes out of this thing, you would either rip your ears off or unsubscribe. And I don't want you to do either of those things. So uh, I've, been, I've been doing a little bit of research on the best way to get external audio out of your GoPro and there's been people that have been using these um, these Rode VideoMic Pro things that are literally three times the size of the GoPro 
just for the best audio that they can possibly get. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that, but honestly, the I mean, listen to the audio I'm giving you right now. This is coming from headphones. Now, if you are super, super into audio, then of course you're gonna want to uh, buy external microphones that are better than headphone microphones. But honestly, I mean, this is tolerable, isn't it? Being able to talk into my headphones, and now I'm gonna actually be able to hook my headphones directly to the GoPro, and it's just gonna give you this audio for, uh, I think that connection was $20. And it is the best, cheapest way to get the most efficient audio out of your GoPro. Yeah, you don't have to go out and spend $200 on a Rode boom mic and hook it up to your GoPro. You just really need that adapter that I showed you, that 3.5 millimeter adapter to a USB, mini USB, and uh, GoPro sells them, and then just hook it straight up to your headphones, and it works flawlessly. I mean, this audio is perfect. Perfect enough for a vlog. There we go guys, I got it on the uh, holy grippy thing, so it should be a little bit smoother, and uh, I like it, it's blue and everything, but everything said about the audio before, if you're like me, you are an audio Nazi, and if you're an audio Nazi like me, I actually picked up one of these. It's called a Smart Lab Plus by Rode. Now, it's one of those microphones that actually will clip to my collar, so it will be better audio and it'll be more out of the way than these headphones so I'm actually gonna give you guys a little audio clip of the Rode Smart Lav versus these so right now I'm talking into my headphones going into the phone that I have so now we're gonna switch over to that and I'm gonna give you guys an audio comparison of what that sounds like alright now this is what it sounds like with the Smart Lav Plus now I'm holding it just simply because I didn't want to pin it to my shirt and I feel like this is efficient so I actually don't know if the audio quality is going to be much better but honestly I think that it's going to be um, and if it's not it's not and I can return it but this seems a lot more high quality so we're gonna go for a run and actually see what it sounds like outside and I think it'll be even better than this echoey basement so let's go And guys, we are doing this now. Outside, lavalier clip mic from Rode. And I do believe that this is actually going to be something that I'm gonna continue doing for a while because um, I think this audio is better than the uh, headphone microphone. Whew, I'm out of breath, guys, I was just running. But yeah, dude, guys, check this out, man. Look at how beautiful this stream is right next to here. Oh look, there's turkeys up there. Guys, there's turkeys up there. Let's see if we can get them. They're really tiny, really tiny. You guys see them in the road? <laughs> oh, they're flying away. Just about that roost in time, but yeah. I think that this microphone is going to really improve the quality of these vlogs. Even though I'm just starting out with this vlogging thing, I think I got a pretty good grasp on the uh, technical side of it, being able to produce the highest quality content I possibly can for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I might end it here. I might be getting sushi later, so you might get some pictures of sushi, but I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys later.